Hi, this video is on modeling expressions with algebra tiles and simplifying them. There are going to be two videos covering this topic. The first video is part one, which is just going to be combining like terms. The second video is going to be simplifying al uh, expressions with algebra tiles using the distributive property. Uh, let's get started. To get started, we first need to know the names of each one of these tiles. This is what we call a unit tile. We call it a unit tile because it is a square whose sides are one and one. So when we find the area of this tile, one times one is one, or simply a unit. That means that when we flip it over to the negative side, the side where it's red, that is going to be a value of negative one. Now one of these unit tiles lines up perfectly here with our rectangle, the green rectangle, which tells us that that green rectangle has a side length of one. And if we try and line up enough of these unit tiles across the side uh, to see how tall it is, you're going to be uh, a little bit disappointed because you're going to notice that it doesn't line up perfectly, and that is intentional. Some students maybe like to say, oh, well, that's just five and a half. Well, what if it's five and two thirds? What if it's 5.4? And since we don't know exactly, trying to be precise using Math Practice 6, we just call it x since we don't know exactly how many. That means the dimensions here, x times 1 is simply x, and the negative version is going to be negative x. And for our largest tile, you can see that one of these green rectangles lines up very perfectly right here with the blue square, which means the dimensions of this square, as you can see here, since it lines up perfectly, are x and x. So when I try and find the area, x times x is equal to x squared, which is why we call this the x squared tile, and the negative version is going to be negative x squared. In class, we use physical manipulatives. We have actual algebra tiles. Um, if you are watching this video, you're probably not in the classroom, so you probably don't have access to those. So I like to go to this website, Didax, uh, which has some algebra tiles. Right now it's set up to be an equation, and that's the default setting. So I just click on hide all frames and then go. And you can see that you'll be able to have out and manipulate the same algebra tiles that we would have in class. So I do encourage you to find that website. There is a link in our class calendar. So as we model these expressions, we're modeling them in an attempt to simplify them. So the first step, though, is to model. We need to understand what all of this means. Here we have 2x, which means I'm going to start by taking 2x tiles. And then it says plus 3. So we're going to take 1, 2, 3 of those unit tiles, because that together represents the number 3. Then it says plus x, so I'm going to grab another x tile, and then it says plus 1, so I will grab another unit tile. Now when we're simplifying expressions, we don't want the x's to be in multiple places, and we don't want the units to be in multiple places. The whole point of simplifying is to make it less redundant. So it makes sense that I would want to move these yellow ones over here with the yellow ones. That allows these green ones to be closer to the green ones, and that's what we're talking about when we are simplifying expressions. We are combining like terms, greens with greens, or in other words, x's with x's, and units with units. Now when we're actually taking notes, I want you to leave this here, model with algebra tiles, I want you to leave it just like that and draw that out here in this space. And in this space, this is where we talk about what it looks like when it's all the way simplified. So this is what it looks like when it's simplified. This is where those green tiles have been moved to get the green ones, the yellows have been moved to the yellows, and this is what it looks like when it's simplified. But what does this actually mean? Now that it's simplified, we're going to count them up. 1, 2, 3 of these x tiles, and 1, 2, 3, 4 of those unit tiles. I'm going to add a plus sign to show that it's 3x plus an extra 4 unit tiles. Now, what does this really mean? A lot of students on the pre-assessment tried combining these further, saying, oh, well, I've got 3 and 4, so I'm going to go ahead and say that that's 7 or some would say that's 7x. And neither of those are correct, and here's the reason why. If I have 7, that means I have 7 of these unit tiles. And yes, there are 7 total tiles, but not 7 of the unit tiles, just like I can't say 7x, because that would mean I have 7 of these green tiles, and I don't. I have 3 of the green tiles and 4 of the unit tiles. So when we're combining like terms, that's exactly it. We're combining only the things that are like, same size and same shape. Eventually, we want to be able to do, to do this, 
without needing our algebra tiles. So when you get really good and experienced with this, you can do this just by looking at the expression and say, oh, I would represent those with the green X rectangular tiles, and I would represent these ones with the unit tiles. So you can still identify those uh, like terms, and you can also start combining them. Okay, those three are gonna join the one, this X is gonna join those two X, just like we actually manipulated these. We move these ones over, we move these ones over, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. When I combine 2x and x, I end up with three of those x tiles. And when I combine three units and one other unit, that's how I get the four unit tiles. So that's where we're going to be going to eventually, but for today we're going to continue to model them with the algebra tiles. Here's the next one. I would like you to try and do it on your own. 5 plus 5x plus 6 plus 2x plus 1. Use your algebra tiles, whether they're physical algebra tiles or your virtual algebra tiles, and model 5 plus 5x plus 6 plus 2x plus 1. Pause the recording to give yourself enough time to do that. Okay, let's take a look and see how you did. Here's 5 plus 5x plus 6 plus 2x plus 1. And again, it makes sense that I would want these two x tiles to come and join these five x tiles, or in other words, those two are like terms, they're going to join together. And these unit tiles to join these unit tiles to join these unit tiles, so these are going to come all the way over here, and these are going to come all the way over here, or if I'm looking just at the expression, I would see unit tiles, unit tiles, unit tiles, all going to move over and join that one unit tile over here. So when this is simplified, when I have combined them and moved them around, I want it to look like, pause the video if you haven't already done it, go ahead and do it yourself now, and here's the answer. I'd want it to look like this. Again, we can count up now that we've combined everything and see what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these green X tiles, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of those unit tiles for seven x plus twelve. We've modeled the expression and we have simplified the expression by combining like terms, moving x's to be with x's and units to be with units. Now this next one, we're going to be seeing a couple of interesting things first. I want you to give it a try without the algebra tiles, just on your pre-assessment, how would you have done this without looking at those algebra tiles? What do you think you would have done? And now we actually can do this with our algebra tiles and let's see how you did. There's a few things that I would like to point out. The first is we have 2x plus 2x squared, keep that in mind, minus 5x plus 1. All right, let's take out our 2x tiles. There's 1 and 2. And then it says plus 2x squared. Remember, x squareds are a different shape, different size and shape. So I should have taken out two of these x squared tiles. And then it says minus 5x. I don't have 5x to even take away. And so this is where we start seeing that relationship that I've discussed in the past, 2x plus 2x squared. I'm going to change this subtraction to adding a negative. I can represent m subtracting 5x with some of those negative uh, x tiles. So changing that subtraction to adding a negative, I now know I can get 5 of these negative x tiles up here, and that represents subtracting 5x. One more, and plus one, so there is my one extra unit tile there. So what does it look like when I combine like terms? If you did this on your pre-assessment and you just saw x's and x's, you might have just assumed that we can combine all of those together. But when you actually see them modeled, it's easier to see that we can't combine these red and green rectangles with these blue squares. They're different sizes and different shapes. I can, however, move these rectangles to be with these rectangles. And in doing that, I hope you're also making another connection, but we'll get to that in just a second. When you're modeling this in your notes, keep your notes here so that your original expression, unsimplified, matches what it looks like here. And then, in this last part, this is where we're going to show what it looks like simplified. We combined the blues with the blues, the rectangles with the rectangles, even though some were red and some were green, and the yellows with the yellows. But notice what happens. When I have a red and a green tile, they zero out, okay? Because a positive and a negative are a zero pair, and I have two of those, two red and green rectangle zero pairs. So those count as zeros, and we don't need to worry about them. So let's count up what we have left. We have one, two, 
not just x's, but two x squared tiles. Looks like there's one, two, three of the x tiles that didn't zero out, so that's going to be a negative 3x, negative because they're red, and one unit tile. So we have 2x squared and a three negative x tiles and a unit tile, and that is what that expression is going to look like simplified. Again, we can do this even without our algebra tiles, making those connections here. We're going to have 2x squared. We have some x's here, and we have some negative x's here. So when I combine those, I just want to make sure that I'm careful in recognizing 2x plus a negative 5x. We're going to have some zero pairs, so that's how we get that negative 3x and our one unit tile. So we can still see those like terms even if we don't model it with our algebra tiles. And we're on to the back side now. This one, we're going to model this one together just because we've got some subtractions. So we want to make sure that we're handling it correctly. When I see this, I see cx minus 6x minus 2 minus 3x plus 7. I'm going to change that subtraction to adding a negative. So 6x minus 2 is going to be 6x plus a negative 2. And minus 3x is going to be plus a negative 3x. And then our plus 7. So again, making that connection that we're changing our subtraction to adding a negative. And then we can model it very easily with our algebra tiles. Pause the video, give yourself a chance to model it on your own first. And then you can also simplify it. Pause the video to make sure that's done. All right, let's take a look and see how you did. All right, here's my six x tiles, my two negative unit tiles, my three negative x tiles, and my seven positive unit tiles. We're going to combine like terms, and again, combining like terms is combining x's with x's. Even though they're different colors, they are that same shape, and combining units with units. And again, even though they're different colors, we're combining them because they're the same shape. They both represent units. So when it's combined, we're going to have some zero pairs in our x's and some zero pairs in our units. So when it's simplified and we've taken into consideration all of our zero pairs, we can count up what we have left. Those are part of zero, so I have one, two, three x tiles left. And these are part of zero, so one, two, three, four, five unit tiles left. That means I have three x tiles and five unit tiles. All right, by now you should be able to start doing this on, on your own. So four, five, six, and seven, I'm going to go through it rather quickly. Pause so that you can model it and then use the video to check your answers. All right, on number five, did you catch that we have negative 4x plus 1 plus 3x plus 2 plus a negative x? Changing that subtraction to adding a negative first so that I can get out the right algebra tiles to model it. Here it is modeled, negative 4x plus 1 plus 3x plus 2 plus a negative x. And when I combine the like terms, combining all the rectangles with all the other rectangles, it's going to look like this, where once again I can see I've got some zero pairs here, three of those reds and three of those green rectangles all zeroed out. So let's count up what we have left. We have one, two, they're red though, so negative two x tiles, and count them up, we have one, two, three unit tiles, so negative two x plus three, and this is where it's really important to differentiate, making sure that we don't just count the rectangles, we recognize when we count the rectangles that we have left, we see that they are negative, so that's a negative two x plus three. Number six, negative five x minus one plus three x plus five, pause the video, give yourself a chance to look through that. And again, I hope you caught that we have negative five x plus a negative one, plus 3x plus 5. Changing that subtraction to adding a negative and now getting out the appropriate unit uh, algebra tiles. Here it is, almost modeled. There we go. Five negative x tiles, a negative unit tile, three positive x tiles, and five positive unit tiles. Looks like I'm going to be combining these x tiles over here, creating some zero pairs, creating the unit tiles over here, moving those unit tiles over here and creating some zero pairs, and it would look like this. Again, we don't need to count the zero pairs because we know that they form zero. More zero pairs here, 
but we do want to count what we have left, and we have one, two negative x tiles, and one, two, three, four positive unit tiles. And the last one, there's lots of subtraction here, so really be careful. Make sure you're changing your subtraction to adding, it, to adding a negative, and give this a try. Pause the recording. Negative 7 plus a negative 4x plus a negative 3 plus a negative 2x plus 5. Changing all of this subtraction to adding a negative means that I'm going to have a lot of these negative algebra tiles out. Let's check to make sure I did that all right. I have 7 negative unit tiles, 4 negative x tiles, 3 more negative unit tiles, 2 more negative x tiles, and 5 unit tiles. going to combine what I can. I'm going to have these negatives that are going to join those negative x's, these negatives that are going to come over here with the units, finding those zero pairs, and it should look like this when we're all done. We only had zero pairs in the units here. So all of those ended up forming zero. And now we can count up what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six negative x tiles. And one, two, three, four, five negative unit tiles. Now I want to have a discussion about this right here. We changed subtraction to adding a negative. So when you see this, you can change adding a negative back into subtraction, leaving us with negative six minus five. Either one of those is appropriate. Both of them are correct. And that is our lesson on simplifying uh, expressions by combining like terms. That's it. Thanks for watching.